Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video we have to talk about three separate hurricanes that are currently in the Atlantic. By the time you're watching this video, it might not be that many, but this morning, the time I'm making this video, it certainly is. Alright, now before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now I would also ask that you do check out our very exciting Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. Alright, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, which category do you think that Hurricane Teddy will get up to? Let me know in the comments down below, give me a reason why, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now let's take a look at this video, and we have to take a look at the two-day outlook here, and as you can see, we have Hurricane Teddy, Hurricane Sally, and Hurricane Paulette alongside three disturbances and one tropical storm, Vicky, right there. Vicky is not going to last long, though. We will talk about that in just one moment all right now let's first things first take a look at the five day graphical tropical weather outlook and take a look at first off this disturbance up there near europe this one does not look to develop too much so it looks like we're out of the water for that one let's take a look at the one in the gulf and this one does have a pretty decent chance to develop now we've been tracking this one for maybe about a week now it is a 40 percent chance and a lot of the models like this one becoming a tropical storm so we'll have to watch it very very closely and then we have our 70% chance one here, and this one looks to be our next big tropical cyclone, basically, where this one's going to cross the Atlantic, do the whole classic thing. So this is going to be the next one we're going to be talking about over the next week or so, uh, as they just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to start taking a look at the cone forecast for each of the tropical storm, well, one tropical storm, and then all three hurricanes. First things first, here's Tropical Storm Vicky, and as you can see, she's going to dissipate into a tropical depression by about 2 p.m. on Thursday, and then become a post-tropical depression after afterwards after that point, and really just dissipate. Uh, Vicky does not have a long future, but it got us past that V name uh, pretty much for free because she's not really going to impact any land. Here is Hurricane Paulette, which is going to pretty much just become a post-tropical system and, and really just fizzle out over the next week or so. It's going to take a long time for that to occur, but really, uh, Paulette's not looking to impact any land. This one has been very, very uh, long-lasting, very interesting there. All right, now let's take a look at Hurricane Sally, and by the time I'm making this video, this is the 4 a.m. update, I'm recording this currently at 7, that's what a lot of people don't understand. I'm making this audio a lot earlier than I upload the video because I still have to edit it. And everything and then upload it so there's a lot that goes into it uh, but I'm making this video by the 4 a.m. update by the time you're watching this the 8 a.m. update will be out and it will probably be past landfall by that point but right now and the time I'm making the audio Hurricane Sally is making landfall right now actually with Alabama and the Florida Panhandle a lot more east than we expected uh, but I pretty much have been saying this one could make impact in a lot of different regions because of how wide that cone had to be very slow mover here uh, and really, she's going to uh, move northward, northeastward, and bring a lot of rain into the Carolinas, Georgia, uh, even up into Virginia, possibly. Some of the models have turned it out, so you're going to want to watch that closely. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to take a look at Hurricane Teddy, which looks to become Major Hurricane Teddy. All right, now here we are taking a look at Hurricane Teddy, and like I said... This one's going to become Major Hurricane Teddy likely by 2 a.m. tomorrow already, 2 a.m. on Thursday, and then remain a Major Hurricane all the way through Sunday. How strong can this one get? Who knows? Very strong, probably, considering how long this one's going to take to get all the way up north to Bermuda. Unfortunately, this one has Bermuda right in its crosshairs. We have to have our fingers crossed that it either goes east or west of Bermuda because they do not need a second hurricane hitting them this soon or really at all even so we really want to have our fingers crossed that this one goes east or west of you guys or at least dissipates before hitting you guys let's take a look at the satellite imagery here for sally and as you can see the eye is just coming on shore of alabama and florida as i'm making this video probably as a category two here uh, i said probably it'd be a tropical storm or category one this one has obviously become a category two so a little bit more intense than i anticipated uh, let's take a look at the satellite imagery here for Hurricane Teddy now. And as you can see, this one might be developing an eye as well. Has some nice rotation to it, and it is rapidly intensifying. Again, we're expected to very shortly become a major hurricane with this one. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and we're gonna take a look at the, the spaghetti model guidance for Hurricane Teddy, the intensity guidance for the one in the Gulf, and then also the spaghetti models for that, that next system, the upcoming tropical cyclone that hasn't really developed yet. We're also gonna take a look at the intensity guidance for that one, and then we're gonna close out the video. All right, now here we are taking a look at the spaghetti models for Hurricane Teddy here. And look, here's the important thing to note. The, the uh, cone here is pretty thin for this far out. The models are doing a great job. Uh, the intensity is the thing you wanna watch here, okay? Uh, the darker red it goes, the lower the pressure. So this storm is gonna overall just intensify and it's gonna remain very intense even as it approaches uh, Newfoundland up there. So really, really uh, concerning look here. Um, this one could impact portions of the Atlantic coastal Canada up there. So we're going to want to watch this one closely. Um, really it's going to be a long lived track. We're going to be talking about this one for a long time to come. The most imminent threat here is for Bermuda. We're going to watch that very closely for you guys, obviously. Uh, again, the colors indicating a much stronger storm, even seeing some pinks and purples up there. Not a good look. All right. Now here's the intensity guidance for 90 L, which is the one in the Gulf. The interesting thing here is although we only have three models, which means we're getting a very limited sample size here, uh, they do like to show this one become a named storm, which we're approaching the Greek name, so any named storm from this point on counts uh, towards us potentially breaking the record for most named storms, which is almost certain at this point. Uh, and it's, it's just amazing what we've seen happen. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to talk about that system that is moving offshore of Africa. As we speak, we're going to talk about what that one's going to do moving forward. All right, now here we are taking a look at what is 98L, the Invest 98L. As you can see, it actually looks to intensify moving forward, which shouldn't be too surprising. We're at that time of year, mid-September, where that's just, you know, usually how it goes. The good news here is we're expecting a curvature northward, which has been the trend throughout the month of September, which has saved us from a lot of storms. First off, not only in the United States, but also in the Caribbean. Although some have impacted you, we've really seen these storms uh, curve north at a very fortunate point in their track. So you guys have been saved from a lot of the most major impacts from many of these storms so far. We're very fortunate in that in that area. Uh, so we're expecting this one to turn north, hopefully, before the Caribbean there. Uh, and as you can see, we're expecting pretty much every single one of these has a green at least, which is going to probably take us pretty close to at least a named storm. We see many yellows and oranges in there, which would likely be maybe category one. Um, so this storm has some potential to become our next hurricane, but at least... Uh, it's looking likely that this one will at least become a tropical storm, which again is significant because we're talking about potentially breaking the record for most named storms ever uh, since recorded history at least. So uh, it's really interesting. This one, if the Gulf storm was to develop into a tropical storm, this one would be, I think, Alpha, the first Greek name. Uh, again, just very significant reaching those Greek names, especially this early on. This is probably a month of ahead of where 2005 was. Uh, if not more, very, very significant. Now, the only difference is we haven't had a lot of major hurricanes or really even hurricanes compared to what 2005 had. 2005, we had many, many Category 5s even. Uh, so we've been really spared in that department. The named storms is where we've really uh, just outdone 2005 in general or any other you know bigger hurricane seasons. And this is what we've been saying all along, guys. If you've been with us since the spring months, so, you know, even back, I think, you know, March, April, May, we've been calling for this. Uh, and it's it's occurred exactly the way uh, that was expected. And really, you know, hurricane seasons like this, it's very easy uh, to, to predict. All you really need to look at is the ENTO, the sea surface temperatures, and, and that's pretty much it. The, the La Nina was the first one, and then the significant record-breaking heat in the Atlantic, the sea surface temperatures, those two things coupled together – uh, is obviously just so significant and really just led to what we've seen all year because we've had more dust and more shear than normal. So it's all due to the La Nina and the above normal sea surface temperatures that we've had the amount of uh, named storms that we've had. So that's why we were able to see it back in March, April, May. And I don't want to act like only we saw it. It was pretty much every major source knew this season was going to be 
uh, very hyperactive. It's just, it surprised all of us, I think. That's that's all it is. It's it's really outdone even what I was expecting or what anybody else was expecting. Uh, and, and really, we're a part of history uh, just seeing the way this hurricane season has unfolded. All right, now for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, how has September gone in your area? And Kay Flan said, uh, Northeast Texas, cooler than normal, wonderful after a hot, humid summer. And if you live in Texas, I know you're probably loving that because the previous Septembers we've had have been some of the hottest months for you guys. Just, you know, 100 plus temperatures. It's just an extension of summer. Just terrible, terrible heat waves for you guys. This, this September must have been just the biggest relief, especially for you guys out there, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, portions of the South Central United States in general. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Diamond patrons, Alicia Davis, Madbirds, Dan Hazard, Cindy Klein, Mark J, alongside our Platinum patron, Donna Carnes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.